Hello everyone, happy Thanksgiving to all of you who celebrated today. <sighs> I just ate pumpkin pie, so gonna lose my voice. But yeah, it's nine o'clock. I'm waiting for Sebastian to finish his dessert so that he can come up and get ready for bed. It was a chill day. Got up and Jax was feeling pretty good, just annoyed at his cough. His friend came over when we were almost done making breakfast. <laughs> so he ended up sitting with us while we ate breakfast. Jax was doing well enough that I actually sat at the table because I sat across from him and the coughing is was keeping up my anxiety. And for dinner, I had stood at the counter. But yeah, he was doing pretty good, not coughing too much. So his friend was allowed to go up and play. I guess he had a lot of family coming over and his brother went out to play football and to avoid chores and stuff. So he decided to come over here. And he was welcome. So they've been, they've been playing a Pokemon game because he's really into Pokemon. And yeah, he had to leave at one for his Thanksgiving feast. And Danny was cooking off and on and working on a new collar for Piggy, a paracord collar. I went down and did a lot more on the craft kit, the little miniature kit. And I've been doing some knitting off and on. I also put all the Halloween decorations away. They've just been packed up, but not in the big closet because I have to pull out all the Christmas, but it's almost time to put it up. So I figured this weekend's a good time to pull out the Christmas to get the Halloween put back away. We were planning like a late afternoon dinner, like a bigger meal, but <laughs> pretty much whenever Danny says he's going to have a big feast ready at a certain time, it's much later. So yeah, we ate like around 6.30. But anyway, while we were really kicking up the cooking, Danny put me in charge of tying garlic knots on a pizza dough. And Jax's friend came back over. We just sent him right up. And they played until dinner time. But when Jax came down to dinner, he was looking rough again. We're like, oh no, we wouldn't have had you guys in the room together. You were looking that rough, but I guess his cold has progressed and now he has snot on top of the cough, which it's just how it is. I mean, he's past the fever stage, long past it, he hasn't had any fever in probably almost 48 hours. I don't remember when the last one was. It wasn't last night, it was the night before and then it was gone, so yeah. But yeah, he's looking miserable. I'm glad I got to see his friend, but I hope he's just not contagious anymore. I had to, for my own anxiety, eat my dinner standing at the counter. Cause I just couldn't, it's, I just know what's, what I need now. If anything's come out of the pandemic, it's made me acutely aware of my germ anxiety that I had before. Like I had this before. I got so obsessed with every medical germy thing. <sighs> oh, it wasn't fun to be me when Sebastian gave Jax and I hand, foot, and mouth. <laughs> it's just all I thought about 24 7, all I searched about, and all I read about. And then right before the pandemic, it was just flu. I was just obsessed with the f researching the flu and the flu vaccine. That's when I got my first one, like December right before the pandemic, before it was even a thing. Yeah, so I know what I need. The pandemic made it worse, but I've learned that I need to take care of it. 
and something as simple as just standing across the room eating my dinner was fine and the first time I did it this week I was just very matter, matter of fact I need this for my anxiety and then we were all happy nobody was judging me and yeah so I had to do that but I just feel bad for Jax he's finally got this break they're gonna go into three solid weeks of full five day week school days that made no sense three weeks with their full five day week and the normal weekend. This is his last break before winter break, so it just sucks that he's sick, but like I can, I get it. I spent so long sick at the beginning of the school year. Anyway, my allergy medicine is wearing off, so if I'm blinking so very fast, it's because my eyeballs are so dry and itchy. And once the humidity drops below 40% in the house, it really gets to me. And you can see it says 33% relative new humidity, which is actually pretty good. It feels drier than that. It's going to tank. And this little clock only goes as low as 20. So for the whole winter, it'll just say 20. And it's probably lower than that. I get nosebleeds and stuff once it's below 30. Yay. Anyway, yeah, very chill day. Sebastian had a headache this morning, which made me nervous because Jax had a headache when he first got sick, but there's been no fevers, so that's good. Only the normal amount of sneezing that he gets, he's like me and the medicine wears off and allergies are around. <sighs> but it's been six minutes so I'm gonna wrap this up he's hopefully gonna be up here soon <laughs> and I will get him to bed and edit I've been trying to watch some movies on the phone in bed this break to kind of make it feel different I'm not a TV watch I'm not a movie watcher I usually just watch some videos about my interests on YouTube but yeah, trying to make it feel a little different, more like a break, so I might try to find one again. If you have suggestions, let me know. I watched Interstellar the other night, and then last night I watched Bram Stoker's Dracula, because I couldn't remember if I'd seen it. I think somebody's coming up. I hear somebody. Anyway... I just washed your jammies. If you want the same ones, I gotta get them out of the dryer. Yeah, I'm gonna go. So I will see you tomorrow. Oh, my hands. They smell wonderful like cinnamon because I was fidgeting with my sanitizer. That was in my pocket. Yeah, stay safe, be kind, and don't forget, wash your hands. <laughs>